Hey everyone, it's Mr. Wilson. Today we're going to talk about how to shoot and edit your frame jump transition. So first of all, here are my two clips for my frame jump transition. I am here on the path and I've labeled it path frame jump. You can label your clips to make it a little easier to organize. As you can see, I've got my phone on a tripod. It's really important you use a tripod for this. It's almost going to be impossible for you to do it without a tripod. You could certainly try. If you have someone holding the camera, you would want them to hold it as steadily as possible. You could also prop it up against something. I'm not sure how that would work either, but a tripod would definitely be able to help you out a lot. So I backed up. I'm looking at the camera because I want to see where about halfway is. That's where I want to make the jump. I just jump. And then, especially for the one that's going to be on the right side, because I'm jumping into the right side, I turn and walk away. Now you can do something like just walk out of frame this way. I'm in the parking lot. Again, I'm setting up my tripod, I'm looking, and I was also using this, this line in the parking lot to kind of gauge about where halfway is going to be. So I'm gonna take both of these and I'm gonna put them down into my two tracks. You're gonna need at least two tracks for the frame jump, one on top of the other. Doesn't really matter which is on top of the other. And then I'm going to start to edit. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just edit off all the stuff I don't want. So there's gonna be a lot of it. I jumped a couple times for each take. I know since I've done this a few times, the last take of both of these is the one that I'm going to want to use. So I'm going to go to the end of this clip. I can go here and zoom out to make it easier for me to find the end of this clip. This is where I walk back up to the camera to turn it off. And so I know that this is where I'm going to want to edit off this stuff. So right about there, I'm going to click on my scissors and it will split this clip. I'm gonna click on this and delete it. And so that's where I'm gonna want that clip to end more or less, and it, this can just be rough. And here I am walking up to the line for the frame jump. And again, you wanna make sure that the clip is highlighted in orange. Then when you click on that, it's going to cut it, and I'm going to delete all of this. Now I just have this teeny little clip, and if I zoom all the way out, I can see the difference, right? This huge clip and this small clip. This is all I need. I'm gonna drag it to the very beginning. Now, one of the things about when you're editing in WeVideo, if you're on a clip and you're moving your clip, it will be highlighted in green. And if you do that, you know you're just moving the clip and not trimming it. If you want to trim a clip, you go to the very beginning and you move it like this, and then you're actually trimming part of it off because it's not green. But if you think you're at the beginning and you go like this, you're not trimming, you're actually moving the clip. You can trim clips like this, or you can just put your playhead where you want to cut them and go like this. It's really two different ways of doing the same thing. At any rate, I know the first jump that I do, I don't want because there's a jogger that comes along. There's that jogger who kind of ruins my first jump. Here's the take that I want to use. So right around there, I'm going to scissor it, delete it. Uh, I'm going to the end of this clip and as soon as I turn around I'm going to want to get rid of that so I can right around there. Now I've got a clip just about the same size. Now that I have both of these clips here that's just a very rough edit. I'm going to need to do a lot more editing. The first thing I'm going to want to do is crop it and the way I do that is by going to edit and going here to crop. I'm going to want to crop the right side out so I click on this horizontally. I can also crop from the bottom up, from the top down, from the left to the right. So I'm going to drag it to about the middle. I'm going to click Save Changes. But another thing I'm going to want to do is scale it up. This is where you can scale. And I'm going to scale this up, let's say to about 1.4. I'm going to also want to drag the very bottom up to the top because if I have it down here, my feet are going to be cut off. I don't want to lose my feet. I'm also going to drag it over to the left a little bit and click Save Changes. Just quickly look. I can see that I'm going to need to crop a lot more because when you do the jump, you want to have the crop right about halfway of yourself when you're at the very top of your jump. So this is not cropped off nearly enough. So I'm going to go back to the cropping. I'm going to crop it much, much more. Like say like that. So I'm cutting my body about halfway. I'm going to click save changes, but I'm also going to want to drag it to the right because as you can see there's much more of this here. This isn't halfway so I'm going to go back and go to transform and drag this to the right. 
You can see I've got plenty of space back there to drag it to the right. So about halfway, click Save Changes. So now I want to work on timing it out. Right now it's still very far from complete because you see the timing isn't good and also the image isn't good at all. There's where I land, but I haven't even started jumping over here. There I am landing. So I'm going to need to move this, this side of the clip over to the left so that I'm landing earlier. So I'm going to go to this. I'm going to trim off some of the, be the beginning. And remember, it's not green, so I know I'm trimming and not moving it. And now I can go move this to the left. Still needs to be over to the left some. Closer, but it's still not there. Well, that looks pretty good right there. When you get this, you just have to wait. It's a big pain. Okay, so the timing there is pretty good. And you can use the sound of the feet landing as something to kind of judge by. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go back to the bottom clip and I'm going to trim back on the rest of that clip. I'm going to need to go to edit this side. So I'm going to go to edit. And again, scale, I'm going to make it much bigger. The shot on the right was much further away. So my shot on the left was, I scaled it up to 1.4. The shot on the right, I'm scaling it up to 1.8 because I know that I shot further away. So now I can see that that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna to try to get it in the exact right position. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna click Save Changes. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty good. And another thing you can do is go to the very beginning of your jump and go through it frame by frame by using the arrow keys. And I can match it up frame by frame. Right there, I'm gonna to want to kind of adjust that. There. So I made a little bit of an adjustment. Pretty good. At this point, I look at this frame and it doesn't seem perfectly right to me. I am such a perfectionist that I'm going to tweak it even more. I'm going to do that in fast motion and then show you the final result. Okay, that looks about as good as I can get it. I manipulated a whole bunch of stuff. I went back and forth. I spent a lot of time on it and you probably will want to do that too. Going back and forth, scaling up, scaling down, manipulating exactly where your crop is, exactly where your shots are. It takes a while to manipulate it, but when you get it done, I think it's worth it because it looks really cool. Awesome. Now I click finish. I go make sure that I click on the HD and you always want your work to be looking as good as possible. You always want to choose that it's going to be shared to your Google Drive. Then when you click export, if you've already set up the Google Drive connected with your Wii video, it's just going to send it to your Google Drive. And what I would recommend is you do the frame jump separately and then you can get that clip and add it to your other Creative Transitions video. Good luck.